Welcome to Keyboarding Online Troubleshooting Java Tutorial. This video goes over a few other troubleshooting steps to take if you have already verified that you have the most updated version of Java on Java's website but you are still having issues. If you have not already verified your Java, you will first need to watch our video How to Install Java from our website. The first troubleshooting step is to check your Java settings from your start menu click on control panel. Here you will have some kind of listing of your control panel options. Find where it says Java and click on it. If you can't find Java in the list, try changing the view by and change to small icons or you can actually search for it in this bar here and just type in Java and it should show up in the results. Once the Java control panel opens, first click on Advanced, which will look something like this. Find and expand the General section, which will be located under the Security. To expand each section, simply click on this box here. And go ahead and match up the settings that you see here with what your settings have on your own computer. Feel free to pause the video to make sure that it matches up exactly. If your settings are the same and it's still not working, you will next want to try resetting Java. Go ahead and open back up the Java control panel and this time click on settings which is located on the bottom of the general tab. In the window that appears click here on the delete files and in the next box that appears here make sure that each option is checked and press OK. If you're still having issues with the program, you'll want to go ahead and remove and reinstall Java. So go back to your control panel and click on Programs and Features. This will give you a listing of all the programs that you have installed on your computer here. The listing is usually in alphabetical order, so you may have to scroll down a bit until you find Java. Then you'll want to right click on Java and click Uninstall. Your computer will probably prompt you to make sure you want to uninstall Java. Just click yes and it will begin to remove Java here. Now you may get another prompt asking something like, do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer? Again, just click yes or allow. If you do have any web browsers open, you'll be prompted to close them, which uh, we'll probably close this video if you are watching it on the same computer or device that you're troubleshooting. So you may just have to open up this video again to continue on. Once you have successfully uninstalled Java, check back in the control panel under Programs and Features to verify that Java is not listed anywhere there in the list. Sometimes people have multiple instances of Java which causes conflicting issues. If this is the case for you, simply go through the uninstall process until all instances of the program are removed from the programs list. After you have verified that Java does not show up in the programs list, simply go to java.com and download and install Java once more. If you have questions about this, please watch our video, How to Install Java. If you have successfully installed and reinstalled Java, and you are still having an issue, the last thing that you can try is to create a new user. This is kind of like starting fresh on a clean slate. This is done in the control panel under user accounts. If you have questions about creating a new user, you can visit one of the three articles here and this will take you to Microsoft's support website which will take you step by step on how to create a new user depending on the platform that you are using. Once you have created a new user, simply log out of your current user and log into the new user that you created. From there, go ahead and try out the program again. If it works in the new user, that means there's some kind of third-party program that is conflicting with Java or possibly a corrupted file on your normal user account. Just log into the new user whenever you want to use the program and you should be fine from there. And after all of that, if you are still having issues, you can try Java support page by visiting the URL listed here. You can also just try a different computer as it may be an issue with your operating system or hardware. 
Lastly, if you feel the issue may be system-wide with the website itself, please submit a ticket from our website under Contact Us, or if you go under the Tech Support, there's a Contact Us button as well there. We will try to respond to your ticket within 24 to 48 hours. Thank you, and happy typing.